थैंक यू अजय जी एंड सनत जी फॉर इनवाइटिंग मी एंड थैंक्स टू शाह जी आल्सो फॉर फॉर इज फॉर द इनवाइटेशन इनफैक्ट लास्ट लास्ट सेशन वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंस्टॉलेशन सो बिफोर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट दिस वन लाइक So before going to discuss about these customers, today we will uh, discuss about I will discuss about the customization and how to create collection. Some of them, how to manage the collection because you know like uh, uh, this this space we are talking from 2003 as I have discussed uh, last uh, program. Uh, from 2006 onwards, we have gone through several uh, round of uh, several I mean uh, uh, discussions and. Uh, 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 i mean uh, what you call uh, you have attended so many co conferences seminar and all uh, so now this new uh, thing has come uh, ajay ajay are you there hello yes sir yeah can i uh, uh, stop my video yes Because... sir if you yes okay, sir okay, sure. okay okay otherwise it may create some network problem na yes yeah, sure uh, okay so Okay, before that, I uh, I'm just talking about this space. I will uh, I mean I was just going through his presentation as I was giving. So it was really nice software. And in fact, we do use this Zotero for creating our annual report. Okay, you know, like some sometime we uh, we have to arrange our bibliographic details. If you see some of the annual reports and all, they don't act, arrange professionally. So it gives a professional feeling. So that just point I just want to say that on that. Uh, so it was a good uh, session. I was attending uh, with. इंटरफेस okay so so current interface is this space angular uh, 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 interface which is uh, because earlier it was only uh, server version and all so now it has uh, both back end and uh, front end options are there for this space uh, this space uh, so what we discussed about how, what are the softwares are required like unix then java map, uh, apache then maven uh, and then ant ant for basically this uh, to create for the uh, what do you call it uh, for two uh, 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 pre stage and pre post stage of the collection of these java uh, files then we have of course we need uh, postgres sql uh, for uh, keeping the data that is database management system uh, and oracle since uh, uh, i mean 7 point of 6 uh, version it was oracle was being used but uh, after uh, i mean uh, Since that, I mean, before seven point six, but since the seven point six, uh, Oracle is not supported, and uh, anyway, as well as Apache Solar uh, is used for an index and search uh, services, and there are Apache Tomcat uh, server. So like this, so this is for the server and all, and, uh, and uh, uh, we have used this uh, some of these tools like uh, uh, the interesting part is like this uh, for this. Uh, Uh, angular one so we need to install some uh, other uh, java related softwares like node J js nvm and yarn so what it does it it is helpful to build uh, the dispatch angular uh, front end okay so today uh, uh, before this angular uh, one we are using this uh, what is this angular okay so this uh, earlier, uh, earlier what you are using uh, most of i mean many of the people uh, might have uh, heard about this xml ui and jsp ui so this space has transitioned from uh, two separate user base there are two two ui as there ui mean that is user interface are there uh, to a single interface uh, that is called angular in its latest version that is uh, I, i mean this space 7 onwards uh, so this the, the uh, so there is a comparison i have given the technology uh, this xml and xlp are uh, based on this uh, 
templates uh, for layout and presentation. Basically, you know, like uh, what this space does, uh, actually the data, whatever, uh, like uh, as, uh, what you call it as bit stream, bit stream is that is for the files and all. What are the file we save that is known as the bit streams uh, as per the D space word, uh, etc. And this uh, metadata and all store in this uh, D space, uh, I mean, all these metadata and all database, this uh, D space databases. Uh, and uh, <coughs> uh, so, and this front end was based on XML UI and the XS, uh, uh, XS LT UI. And uh, now it has now it is uh, Angular uh, one. This is a modern JavaScript framework, and uh, the st uh, the strength is this enable dynamic feature. Though it has a dynamic feature in XML and XSLT, but the comparatively it has a better uh, dynamic feature, and it has a improved search and navigation option. Uh, and you will like this if you try this. I I don't know how many people have tried because after this presentation, I think I was taken on twentieth. So. I don't know how many people have tried this or not. So if somebody has tried, please let me know. I mean, please, you can send uh, in a chat box that, okay, you have done it so that I will be happy. Uh, <clears throat> so it, it will give uh, uh, a responsive design means you can get a, you can use it mobile devices and all, I mean, I mean all kinds of different devices uh, for, for the displaying of these uh, interact, interactive uh, interfaces. And it is leading to a more engaging uh, and user-friendly uh, experience. So it has a better, uh, uh, what you call it, SEO, uh, search engine optimization. Uh, 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 that means, uh, suppose uh, this is used for searching some uh, content. And it is it has a single code base for front end and the back end easier to maintain and uh, update. Okay, so this Angular has this, this, these benefits. Uh, so Angular overview, uh, the DSpace user interface is built on the Angular I.O. framework. So this is the latest one. So all data from, uh, comes from the REST API data uh, DSpace back, uh, backend and the final HTML page is generated via uh, TypeScript. So what it does that, uh, you know, like uh, this REST API is that is, uh, we are talking about, uh, in the last place we are talking about this 8080 port we have given uh, for getting the server so that uh, through that server, uh, API it it gets uh, uh, what it what it does. Uh, I mean the data is stored in the Postgres SQL database. So through that uh, API, it, uh, th this Angular collects the data and it displays uh, 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 HTML pages and that is generated to type script. That is a JavaScript. So <clears throat> we'll discuss on that. So you don't need to know Angular or TypeScript to theme or uh, brand. Uh, the UI, but understanding a few basic concepts will allow you to better understand the folder structure layout of the code base. Okay, so what happened now that we are listening so many uh, uh, technical terms. Uh, as a librarian, I don't, uh, I don't know how many people uh, would be uh, knowing all these uh, terms and all, but what? Uh, but we need not have to worry about all these terms and all, and uh, in fact, uh, for the programming also. But we need to know what are the structure, fam folder structure, wh which file is wh where, and some minimum uh, uh, changes we need to we will able to change the uh, whole output as a user. So in Angular, every web page consists of a number of components which define the structure of a page. Okay, so each page has a, has a, a, a different component. So what happens then whenever a data uh, that it collects data, so based on that component, so it uh, retrieves the data from the server. They are the main building block of any Angular uh, application, uh, which are that uh, type uh, script. Then component are usable across many pages. So, for example, there is only one header and footer component. Even through, they appear across all pages. So, so like this, so it has been distributed as a components. So, which is usually used in many uh, pages. So, Angular overview. Angular is a TypeScript-based open source. Uh, web application framework led by the Angular team at uh, Google. Basically, it is uh, by the Google. Uh, designed for building single page application. Okay, it is basically for a single page, a page application, which are web application that load all the content on a single page. Okay, so what happens? It has, uh, it loads all the, in a single page and up, update is dynamically without full page rule load. Okay, suppose if you want to download some data, I mean, suppose some changes, some data, so uh, every time it will not reload the web page, full page. It will, all, uh, it will only 
updates that particular part part information we are uh, getting so what things to be consider that uh, basically it is for developers may need to invest time in your learning angular especially if you are unfamiliar with the javascript framework uh, so if you want to do a, some developer job then you need to uh, know this thing and customization it is complex customization might require more resources compared to xml ui so for xml ui you need to uh, only uh, do certain uh, job but here you need to have to uh, changes many uh, elements however it is a very good uh, responsive page and uh, interactive and uh, very uh, good actually comparison to the xml ui and jsp so it has component like uh, it, uh, it is a component uh, start dot compo component dot uh, uh, ts ts is basically the type script file which contain the logic and name of the selector of the component then component html so which uh, keep the uh, html file uh, the file which contain the html markup for component and then the in html file components are named referred uh, like that the ds header ds footer like this okay so it is a specific for that one so a dot component ssc that is a csc file so which contains style for the component you know like for different uh, font how what will be the font size what will be the font color so like that so it, the, the all these things are there in the css file so here it, they use sss okay so <clears throat> sss is very similar to css uh, in fact any css is a valid sass uh, but sas allows you to next css rule have variable and function for a brief overview you can visit this pages so it has bootstrap website framework uh, bootstrap means that is basically they are used for the website and all sorry mobile uh, devices html5 is the latest specification of the html language so the, so these are based on this so these are the theme directory and design principle so the uh, uh, a theme directory should include following file and directory uh, app actually there is a uh, called app contain the themes angular component should mirror the structure of the source it should be in the source app side uh, directory and asset contains the theme custom asset asset means that file basically such as font and the images so whatever the files and uh, will be there that will be in the images file like logo and all style uh, uh, slash contains the themes uh, global style so there are uh, this is a another eager theme model.ts declare the component that should include the apps uh, main bundle so what this eager component does that uh, does those that should be available immediately when fast loading such so as main part of the home page and component that are present on every page so this eager theme is will be the main part so which will be there so other part will be collected so this is called legit theme model that is declare all other component of the themes so here uh, while uh, we are going to uh, change i mean uh, you have to customize your uh, d space in uh, user interface uh, so last time i mean when i was giving the presentation i just uh, stopped with the uh, landing page where well, uh, after the installation how it looks but here slowly we have to change suppose here uh, the color customization for this color customization uh, we need to uh, go to this go uh, g uh, sorry this is g uh, i mean g edit command for this home and this is the uh, the file name okay T, uh, theme sas variable override uh, dot csc basically you are that is scsc uh, that uh, ss file you have to change uh, this one so i have given this uh, this one so what we did add the following line after 23 that is s body background will be this color okay so body background will be this color so like this, uh, we, uh, we will change this. Uh, then, so next is change header uh, background color. So header background color can be uh, changed. Uh, basically, actually, I was going through so the, the real uh, work we have done in this uh, D space uh, in my laptop, but it uh, I I I was unable to unmute my audio. I don't know what for whatever the reason. So that's why I'm unable to show you the actual demo, but I will show this uh, PPT. Uh, at least you could have seen that uh, how it looks and how uh, it has been changed. So, so here, like if you see this uh, uh, this thing, uh, after nine we have added this one. So if you to header uh, background, it will change like that. Okay. 
so font change so uh, so for font change you want to add some font uh, in your uh, inter interface so you have to go to this uh, uh, theme says variable override dot css so there you have to add this okay open this google font select any font import uh, and here you can add the some of the fonts here it, it has been added for different uh, elements it has added different uh, formats so based on that the font will change uh okay here it is uh, change the display logo okay first of all i will show you this thing okay so here i mean if you see this uh, uh, interface so while uh, installing uh, after the installation we found this this is the uh, web page okay so i uh, we want to add our uh, logo our names so so many things we need to be change we need to, we need to change all these things okay so what uh, what we did that so here we have to change uh, in order to change the dispatch logo uh, it was the dispatch logo is here this is uh, dispatch logo it is there okay so here i have changed to the iit bbs uh, bhubaneswar logo so for this uh, what we did i mean like this is the one so what you have to do you have to go to this uh, images uh, there is a page is called image uh, that i was discussing the assets so this asset uh, it was in this space asset uh, uh, folder images is there so there what we did we downloaded this w get this is our logo file uh, logo uh, i mean uh, location so w get that logo then after that what we did we went to this particular folder theme this space uh, uh, this uh, uh, home this space this space angular this space 7.6 then source src then themes this space app nav bar okay so there uh, there there is a file called nav bar component dust html so that is a uh, uh, so there what we have to do we all we have given uh, the, uh, you see the, here what we are did we have downloaded this thing it, once it is downloaded uh, this is the one from there uh, then you have to g edit this file particular file and you have to give this one change that src image logo dot png uh, basically uh, there is a uh, in that file it was given uh, asset slash image okay so but here this space you have to give so that you have to give the proper uh, what what do you call uh, location so that it will uh, the the thing uh, the logo will change if you have any question you can uh, uh, ask me okay i cannot see your uh, raise hand but i you can stop me okay anyway i think uh, order audio is not enough uh, you can chat so this is the one uh, we have changed this uh, this logo here similarly if you want to try this you can do that this one so insert organization name with link in the header okay so here if you see this uh, here it is organization name was not there this space after that Uh, here we have added uh, I, I had idr iit bbs but uh, this one we have to change so for that what you have to do is like uh, here you have to go to this uh, home this space this space angular this space n point six point one source themes ds uh, space app and nav bar and then, uh, you have to go to the same nav bar component dot uh, stm that uh, one html file okay so there we have to give this one at the uh, s6 a no this is for what so uh, like this you have to give and also you have to give the link so that uh, there will be a link will be uh, given okay so here uh, change font color of the header so here uh, what happened now uh, that you have to simil similarly you have to go to this uh, uh, that uh, scss file 
so there uh, there, there you can uh, change this one uh, background color uh, bs white so there uh, you can change the, uh, hex, uh, the the symbol that one okay so as per then the uh, font color will be uh, the header font color will change Okay. Next is the uh, change fabricum. Fabricum means you know like uh, you can see this uh, while opening in the uh, interface. You can you can find uh, this uh, class. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. So this uh, fabricon is uh, uh, a small uh, uh, image, small image which is represents in the uh, while you are opening this uh, uh, what do you call this browser. Uh, so this browser uh, uh, after opening this, uh, uh, this is the one. So how what we have to do? So here uh, uh, to do this, some changes it seems. Okay, here. So here, uh, what we have to do is first of all, uh, we have to create a fabricon small image and the move the image file to the following that we have to uh, put it. Uh, uh, first of all, we have to create. So I have created in this uh, uh, this fabricon in our my download uh, folder. Then I'm just taking uh, to uh, this is dot uh, ico file. Okay. So this ico file is the uh, I, have, uh, I have copied to this uh, to the image fabricon file. Uh, that is home dispatch, dispatch angular dispatch, six ten point six point one source themes dispatch assets image. There is a fabricon folder, and after uh, within that, there is a fabricon dot ico. Uh, so this uh, uh, so here what you have to click, uh, uh, do is that so uh, this one we have to uh, uh, comment. Okay, these things we have to comment. So after this, then it will take this ico uh, file from that one. I will able to see the uh, the fabricon. You can see here it has changed. Okay, this there are this space logo and now it has changed to this uh, IIT BBS logo. That is a small uh, that is a fabricon. Uh, change uh, home name. So you might have seen this uh, here. So change home news. Okay, so this is the uh, you can see the display seven. Uh, then there are uh, uh, something is written here. Display world reading open source repository and like this. So for that, what uh, we need to change our one. For that, what we have to do is we have to uh, cd. That is that means you have to go to that directory home display display angular display source themes display app home page then home news. Uh, then we have to uh, edit g edit uh, home news component dot html file from there we have to change uh, you can see this uh, this uh, angular theme uh, d space uh, home uh, home dot news there are different files are there home news component dot html home news component dot css uh, c uh, sorry scss home news component dot ts so th these three files are there it's so like we are discussing you know, that uh, this component, like this Angular has uh, different com uh, file, file structure. So these are kind of things like HTML, then uh, CSS, then the TS file. This is the main file. So for this HTML, we have to change the format. What format you have to cho choose? This this is the dispatch. This is the ori uh, this is the original one. Uh, if if you go to this, you will find this 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 is uh, there. Like display, uh, this is in H1. H1 means like the uh, heading one. It will come in a bigger size. Uh, so that is display seven. You can see how it has been mentioned. Uh, and we can change this. These are all uh, text. And knowing this, we can change the uh, content uh, from uh, here. So here what we have changed. So we have changed uh, uh, like uh, you can find out this IDR IIT BBS using D space seven point six point one. This is mentioned here. Then we have uh, then IIT BBS is repository uh, digital content IIT BBS, like this. So we have changed. After changing this, the, this has come. 
So similarly, uh, that there is another uh, another option is there. Okay. So you have to replace uh, central image with your organization uh, image. Uh, you can find out here that under this one there is a bubble kind of uh, picture is there. So what we have to do is that we have to instead of this we have to put a uh, some iconic uh, uh, photograph of our institution. So there, what we did, we have put a, uh, our IIT BBS uh, uh, gate uh, photograph of that. So what we did, we have uh, downloaded the pic uh, to that uh, download folder. And it, then similarly, what we are doing, we are just copying this to moving to this image folder of this theme, this space, asset and images. Then you have to uh, then go to this home disk space, Angular disk, uh, then uh, uh, that home page, then home news. There you have to change, uh, you have to edit this home news component.html file. So there you have to, this is the one, okay. So uh, <clears throat> then here, uh, you know, like this home news, uh, then Uh, okay, so this image uh, change color. Okay, sorry. Okay. So there you have to uh, what uh, you have to give a link to what the whatever the file was there. There, there uh, we'll uh, give that link specific link to that uh, particular uh, this one this source asset. I had previous JPEG, uh, JPEG, uh, JPG, so that it will uh, take this. Uh, it will take. Uh, will find out this. This photograph will be there. Okay. So this way we can change the our customize our uh, interface. Change color of the central uh, text. So here we have changed. You can see it. You have uh, change this color. Uh, in fact, you can change this one all under color, uh, yellow color also. So you can change this one color. So there, uh, what you have to do, replace central image uh, that, uh, uh, okay. Uh, go to this uh, uh, Angular D space, uh, home page, home news, then uh, then there you have to change, uh, go to this C, uh, SCSS, okay. Basically, uh, the color, uh, then font and all, we have to change from this uh, SCSS uh, file. So here you can, uh, give uh, like this <clears throat> color here uh, white is there you can change to like cyan and all so similarly the this thing will change okay so one important thing is that uh, we have to uh, uh, suppose what we have done we have already created a website uh, sorry this uh, this space there uh, this this space uh, does what the, what this this space does every everything or every activities you need to create uh, your user id okay so for user id you need uh, you need to have a email id okay and for every activities this server will send the email to the uh, for every uh, for example like uh, i have created a collection then uh, then some somebody has uploaded a document uh, we have assigned assigned this work to different people like uh, some some uh, assistant is there he will upload then next is assistant librarian who will see whether this metadata is correct or not. Like different level of authentication are there. So all these things that email uh, works. So for that reason, uh, we need to uh, uh, change, uh, configure our email. Uh, for this email, you are, what you have to do is that we have to uh, go to this local.cfg file that is uh, situated there in uh, this space, config and local, uh, I mean, this folder, this local.cfg. So this is the uh, screenshot we have taken from the before configuration. So we need to change this. So here, like uh, we have given like a mail server. In fact, you can say we can uh, do this uh, Gmail also. Um, uh, basically, our server is also in the uh, Gmail server. Uh, Gmail server. Uh, IDBBS dot uh, dot in. Uh, so here you have to put uh, server username, then password. You have to you have to put mail server port, then uh, site uh, use from from which address it will go. This email ID, 
then uh, feedback uh, suppose uh, when feedback is submitted then from to where it will come then the site administrator so like this you have to give this one so that uh, for every activities you will receive the emails for emails uh, so okay this is another setting uh, we will discuss later okay so another setting like uh, that is just thumbnail thumbnail missing option is there okay so you can see see here there is a thumbnail is there but one page uh, uh, article i have uploaded so, uh, here uh, so uh, if if somebody uh, i mean there is, if it sometime it shows that no thumbnail is there uh, for that what you have to do is you have to uh, use this go to this uh, uh, dispatch bin folder then there uh, uh, dot uh, slash dispatch filter media you have to run this command so once you run this command then it will uh, uh, do this job and finally the script has completed okay so it will create a uh, thumbnail so after this you just uh, uh, refresh this and you will find that uh, this thing is there i mean this thumbnail is available or uh, this is one uh, uh, feedback so so next one is uh, like uh, uh, actually i was trying to give this demo uh, through my laptop uh, basically i had already done this work uh, but i will show this screenshot thanks god thank god that i had already taken this screenshot so that i could able to show you something what uh, we have done uh, so this is a uh, this is the our uh, home page if you go to this local host column for uh, uh, 4040 slash home or simple if so colors class 4040 then uh, you will find this uh, login uh, this login option so from there uh, uh, you have to give the login id okay like this what is this login id that this login id i had given uh, while creating a admin uh, uh, admin account uh, if you remember that last uh, presentation i had given uh, create administrator administrator uh, station one uh, file was there so there i had given Uh, this email id as a user id administrator okay so as a administrator i uh, first first thing is that to login you have to login through the administration administrator after that then administrator can create uh, different user and all so that uh, the work will be uh, done successfully uh, so create community once i logged in uh, so this thing will come like this uh, my name and email id profile my dispatch and my submission etc So next uh, so once you log in you will find this uh, uh, ui uh, this user interface has come because earlier versions this uh, uh, this uh, like uh, before this angular uh, xml and jsp uh, these these are not there so this is a new one uh, with the angular one uh, after this this phase 7 uh, so here uh, these menus are given like new community collection item Uh, there are call option also for sub collection also uh, then edit import export then uh, like this okay so we'll go we'll uh, check one by one so here what you have to do you have to create a community uh, community top level community so what i uh, did that i had created a community a top level community indian institute of technology bhubaneswar okay so under this uh, 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 you, are, you can also collect uh, like create sub collection sub community then under that we can create the collections so here what we did uh, i have not created sub community i, I have created collections so these are uh, uh, collections like uh, integrated teacher education program we have uh, one program is uh, this, this year it has started uh, that is specially for the uh, B, uh, integrated B, uh, bsc bd uh, uh, which uh, bsc bd in physics chemistry mathematics and economics uh, then uh, we have school of basic science which has uh, basic science, uh, physics chemistry mathematics and all uh, disciplines are there school of arts or sin so for uh, we have seven schools uh, for we have, we have created seven collections so uh, 
okay so this is a browse a browse option is given in fact uh, 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 earlier version also this browse option was there but this uh, angular uh, option uh, version uh, this gives a better uh, interface so here you have to create a new item okay first of all once you create the uh, collection under that collection we can uh, we have created uh, this uh, this collection we have to uh, upload uh, create the what you call that uh, uh, item item means that is suppose i want to upload my article or your some repository uh, preprint repository you want to upload in your website, uh, repository idea uh, uh, digital repository uh, so here uh, we have to create for that we have to uh, create a new item so you have to choose a uh, collection so here we have cho chosen the school of basic science uh, so there uh, you can uh, like uh, uh, i think all library professional know what is metadata uh, so this meta this space follows this uh, 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 mark uh, what is sir not uh, this uh, dublin core, core metadata scheme so this dublin core metadata is uh, uh, being used uh, since the i think uh, starting uh, starting uh, starting of this uh, this space so it has uh, different versions like uh, like it has gone through several versions and uh, the data elements uh, uh, as mentioned here uh, so you have to like author title uh, and all so they are uh, <coughs> similarly you have to give the data uh, i mean enter, uh, enter the data so which uh, uh, like it is given here uh, author field then it is a uh, Author also you can add it is a repetitive field uh, like you can if it is more than uh, uh, more than uh, one author also you can add add more option is there so like you can give family name like comma the author name family name then comma given name it is given uh, surname and the first name uh, uh, putting the middle now uh, if it is more then you have to add more then title you have to give then uh, here we have given this title you have collected at, uh, article. Uh, authors, you have uh, mentioned like Mon uh, Mandal, Tapas, then Oja, Sakuma, like this, as per that requirement. Then title, uh, the collection is School of Basic Science. Uh, other title, title, if it is there, then you have to add this. Then year, you have to mention the year. Uh, then citation, standard citation for previous. Uh, so here you have to give the publisher, which publisher it is published. So then, uh, series name, series name, identifier uh, that URI uh, that uh, uh, DOI number you can give this here. Uh, if more than more URI is there, then you can uh, give this. Type it is article, then language is English. And this is the abstract page. And also subject keyword also you have to mention. Okay, we have subject keywords. That is also repetitive field. So uh, here you will find all the files currently in the item. So you have to upload the file. Uh, then after uploading, this is the one, like it is showing the file name. It is 1.58 MB. This is a file name, then bitstream. Actually, we call it is a bit, uh, the, this space is called a bitstream for every element. And the bit, bitstream format for Adobe Photo, PDF, or audio video format. So all the, it, is, it will identify and do the report. Uh, and one interesting uh, part is that okay so once you uh, enter this data then you have to confirm the uh, license uh, basically this licensing is an important one uh, some of the institution they have created their institutional uh, uh, repository policy where they mentioned that uh, uh, which document uh, would be uh, for each document different kind of licensing is there uh, that uh, suppose somebody is somebody submitting one article article so he has to sign the article that there he has authorizing in this institution to that uh, it should follow uh, this uh, copyright uh, laws then uh, this uh, so different institution has different policies so uh, the, these policies can be incorporated here so that uh, 
uh, for users so that uh, they sign and they, they confirm the license as a librarian we should uh, always uh, do these things okay so this is up uploaded then i'll show uh, after uploading i uh, then i will show you this one in the file there is another option which is called batch batch import okay so uh, what happened that uh, you know like uh, uh, i have uh, suppose uh, 100 article uh, details are there uh, bibliography uh, details are there like author title uh, like this okay so so what you do is like uh, uh, if it is more uh, uh, so here, what it does that uh, i want to upload at a time all the uh, th uh, articles to my repository i i also can do that one okay so for that you have to uh, follow uh, certain uh, 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 format formats as for that we can upload this so you have to follow this like i have given an example like this is a dc contributed author dc uh, that is dublin core uh, format it follows description abstract so like this you have to enter then after then you have to save into a csv file and if it is uh, then uh, then you can import this once it is there so it will ask upload the file so after that the import will be uh, successful like this you can upload uh, uh, at a time you can upload more uh, more than one uh, <coughs> files so next thing is access uh, access control uh, that uh, how to add the uh, and a person because you know like uh, uh, uploading a article in your repository you want to restrict the uh, repository uh, people how to use suppose somebody uh, will ask you that i am uploading this uh, thesis or my article so it should be uh, accessible after uh, uh, two years okay then uh, somebody will say that uh, i will give access to only uh, only internal people like our institution people but outside people will not able to access it and sometimes uh, what people uh, will say that uh, so like this there are different kind of uh, options are there though so this this thing come i think uh, sometimes people are telling that uh, institution they are saying that okay we don't know we will not in, uh, we are not interested to upload our thesis or our paper because it will uh, immediately it will be accessible and people will, uh, will use it uh, but as per uh, currently, I think the South, South Ganga has they have made a mandatory so that where you can upload uh, immediately after the, the I mean before submission. I think they are submitting the thesis. Uh, so, uh, but this uh, as per this access control, so it has giving a uh, good op op opportunity for all of us to uh, manage our access. So for this, you have to go to this access control menu here. So here you can uh, add some e person and all. E person option is there since the beginning. Uh, so here I search this e person only. I have I, I, I am there. I have uh, because I uh, entered in uh, during this create admin uh, option. So next I, I I am adding another person. Uh, his name address and the email ID. Okay, this is required. Whether he can log in or not, uh, that option is there. If you say only that uh, you cannot log in, only you can see. Okay. So this is the after doing that uh, you have to create the e person. Thank God, actually I was thinking to uh, give a demo, but uh, unfortunately it is not there. I had taken this screenshot so that at least I could able to show something. Uh, then this uh, uh, then I have created this uh, e person. Then assign role. So here you can assign a role to this. Different role are there, like edit collection. Then you have to uh, uh, like this. Then uh, whether he can able to uh, access uh, access this collection or not. So like this, you can give this. Uh, his administrator, whether you have to assign all, uh, that person, uh, he is the administrator or not. Then he can submit. So like this, you can give various access. A role you can mention different roles so this access uh, while going to the access model for example this is a uh, uh, 
item level access option so what you are doing like uh, suppose some art article is there so there you will give whether uh, uh, open access whether it is a open access or only administrator can access this or only embargo embargo means suppose two year after two year or it is lease so these are the options are there where you can give the access con uh, control option okay so there is a uh, authorization option is there so under this option so you have to authorize different collection different uh, 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 this thing so who can ac access and who cannot access or how can it will be accessed whether it is an anonymous or you, whether it will be uh, login you have to login so kind of things you have to go to uh, go to the authorization and do the uh, uh, authorization process so there is a uh, option called item mapper so in case of collaboration research paper okay suppose in our institution two department has uh, uh, some two per two person from uh, a different department has uh, uh, contributed a paper okay so while entering so which collection will keep so it created difficulty for uh, many time uh, sometime people give to a single like fast author so like that okay so here there is a called item mapper where you can uh, mention uh, more than one uh, collection so that it will be available in different uh, collections uh, item mapper it is in case of collaboration uh, research paper was spelling it okay uh, uh, go to edit of item and select collection mapper uh, then uh, like this you can map the color, different collection so here you can see suppose one article this is a written by some one school we had given to this particular uh, school it is also showing which collection it is available okay school of basic science then school of electrical science after giving the mapper option and as i was mentioning this that this uh, uh, thumbnail is uh, it is given so i think with this i think i i i, th I thank you uh for uh, for your patience and uh, he hearing to me uh, in fact i was going to give a uh, demo for this uh, unfortunately it is not connecting i don't know how to do this uh, ajay are you there yes sir so uh, i'm sorry actually i cannot give demo now okay so okay uh, and uh, this uh, i think the if somebody has any specific question or anything any doubt uh, they can send me email okay i can respond or they can send to you so that i will try to help help out uh, so, so participants are requested if, if they have any questions please uh, raise your questions in chat box or you may ask to the directly to the speaker oh, is there any question chat box no i if i found did not any questions sir. okay 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 that means uh, i think it is everything is clear yeah so, maybe so, sir so ajay thank you so thank, thank you sir alex okay Actually, Thanks sorry, for, I, I was thinking to give a demo actually how to create and how to map. Uh, I think I think that should be better, but uh, anyhow, uh, if it is not possible, so we okay, can okay, okay. We cannot okay, do then. anything. Thank you. Thank uh, you. Very okay, much. thank thank you for accepting bye. our invitation and yeah, thank yeah, you, thank sir. you for inviting. Me. Okay, thanks, sir. Okay, I'm leaving now. Okay, bye. Yes, sir. Sure, sir.